Ubuntu 1910, which is codenamed Aoan Amin, I think. I'm not sure of that pronunciation. It's probably going to take me a couple of weeks to learn, uh, which is just a coincidence, really, because that's uh, due for formal release in a couple of weeks. So yeah, it's at the beta stage at the moment, and I've decided to take a look at it since I've paid almost no attention to it at the moment. It's almost like I completely forgot this was even happening, um, which could be accurate, considering I've been quite busy with various other things. Anyway, I was taking a look at the beta and thinking, wow, performance is absolutely amazing. They've really done a top-notch job of uh, you know, getting the speed up, the desktop seems snappier. You know, it really did seem like uh, a fully blown installed operating system, despite the fact I was uh, running it in VirtualBox. So, yeah, great effort there. Anyway, I was installing a few applications and I went to uh, install Chromium, and this happened. So I did sudo apt install Chromium browser, and it then went to install the snap. I'm thinking I didn't ask for a snap, I asked for the dev package to be installed. And turns out this is something that's happening. And not just isolated to one application, I found another one in the, uh, well, looking at Snaptic. So we've got transitional package, Chromium browser to Chromium snap, and LXD, we've got transitional package, LXD to snap. Uh, I don't think any of these others are relevant, they're just other snap applications. So yeah, no surprises to see those, but uh, yeah. There is a transition in Ubuntu 19.10 to move from dev packages to snap packages. Not necessarily for the entire operating system and not necessarily for all the derivatives, but for certain applications, they are transitioning from dev packages to snap packages. So the snap packages will be bigger because they're gonna have all their dependencies included, but on the plus side, you do get sandboxing. So yeah, that's a great feature to have. Good to have a bit of sandboxing, especially for things like web browsers. So I shouldn't really complain there, but it does seem to be a bit of a downside in terms of performance and styling in which it, in which it didn't really take any of the operating system styling. Although things seem to have got a bit better. It wasn't really picked up much in the news because I was doing some searches on it and Found this article on Linux Uprising. Uh, but here's the original forum post. So call for testing, Chromium browser, deb to snap transition. This is what is happening. I mean, it's not just gonna affect Ubuntu 19.10, it is gonna be backported to the earlier releases. So Ubuntu 19.04 and the long-term support release of Ubuntu 18.04. The Chromium browser has been available as a deb package for all supported Ubuntu releases and as a snap since version 60. The time has come to start transitioning away from the devs. In the first step, the transition will be happening exclusively for Ubuntu 19.10. And once they're confident, they'll be rolling out the stable releases starting for Ubuntu 19.04 and then the long-term support release. So 18.04 and, ooh, 16.04 is still supported. So there's a bit of information on how they're doing it, but the basics are it's a transitional package that will be installing the snap and then setting up for the first time where needed. Pinned desktop launchers will be updated to point to the snap version implemented for GNOME Shell and Unity only for now. Contributions welcome for other desktop environments. Great, you know other desktop environments do exist, other official derivatives. So I hope they will be sorting that out. Further on down the forum post, we have the statement, the transition from deb to snap is not being debated. It's a firm plan that will eventually save a lot of engineering, builder and maintenance resources by removing the need to build every new version of Chromium on all supported Ubuntu releases. To understand what they're doing, they're trying to save on build time, testing, maintenance. They've got build for what, is it three or four releases at a time? So yeah, I understand that is more work for them. Whereas moving to snaps, they'll just build one release and let the snap package be taken care of in the operating system. So you don't have to test it out on all the different releases. And looking at another response here that Osman has posted that if the issue is that they don't want to use snaps, then yes, there is no point. But if the refusal is motivated by real technical concerns, then we would like to hear about them. Why would you not want to install the snap version? Does it break an existing workflow for you? Note that by not upgrading to the snap, you'll keep the old unsupported version with known security issues. Yes, I do agree. You cannot keep an old version of a browser going for a long period of time. It is a security liability. And looking further down the thread, we do have a mention of disk size. So snap waste disk space. 
and the response is not in this specific case at least. So the dev package totaled at 216 meg, whereas the snap was 162 meg. Now what isn't mentioned there with dev packages, you can share library files between one or more applications. So the size then would be spread between multiple applications, whereas with snaps, you have all the dependencies included in each application, so your total size then could be more. And there is also mention about theming, and yes, this is one I really think they should have looked at. Bearing in mind that snaps have been around since 2014, we're now five years into their development, and we do have issues with theming. I'll admit they have gotten better. So this is Kubuntu 1910 beta. And looking at the statement here within Moon, it is effectively the same as what I looked at within Synaptic in Ubuntu. So this is a transitional dummy package that can be safely removed. Chromium browser is now replaced by the Chromium Snap. So if I was to go into the terminal and type in sudo apt install Chromium browser, what I will see is the Snap being installed. I should mention I have customised Kubuntu here and gone through an absurd mouse cursor. Now there's a reason for this. It'll become evident when I open up Chromium. So let's try and open up Chromium browser. And therein lies the problem with the mouse cursors. They look absolutely hideous there. Why is it still like this within the Snap applications? Why can't you obey the system theming? Well, no part of the reason is because of the sandboxing, but they should have sorted that issue out. I can at least say some of the theming is consistent because if I look at my host operating system, this is Kubuntu 1904, I have installed the Snap-based version of LibreOffice. You can see I have the dark theming on the application menus, so that is consistent with the rest of the desktop, but I do have the plain, ugly, boring cursor theme. So I have to wonder just what Canonical are pushing here. I would say Snaps are absolutely fine in terms of the sandboxing, yes, but if they looked absolutely fine and consistent with the rest of the system, then I can't see an issue. Look, if you are seamless with the rest of the operating system, to the point I could say, I don't know whether I've installed a dev package or a snap package, then yeah, perfect. Two thumbs up from me there, but otherwise the way they look at the moment, this is just awful to work with. And by removing the choice of going for a dev package or a snap package, I would just think, I'll take away my choice of going for Ubuntu and just go for another distribution, because why not? They're not the only distribution around. So that was a bit of news about Ubuntu 19.10. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later. Mm -hmm.